In this video we give a general overview about the configuration possibilities of the FPI 4C unit by using a standard internet browser. After getting connected to the FPI 4C unit, doing the configuration settings are the next step. If you are not familiar with getting connected to the FPI 4C, just have a look at video 1 in this training course. The configuration settings for the FBI 4C unit can simply be done by using an internet browser. In our example, we open the Edge browser. By entering the link with the according IP address of the FBI 4C, we have easily access to the configuration settings area. The configuration settings area is divided into the system settings area that we see in front of us and the application settings area. Let's focus first on the system settings area. This area is used in case the default settings need to be changed. As an example, we mention here three of them out of the various settings we can make. For example, the default login data can be changed to our needs. By clicking on authentication and edit, we can set a new password. Another useful feature is to change the default IP address for the Ethernet ports. This can be done by clicking on Network, then Edit, then Network Interfaces. The IP addresses can be changed to our requirements even for both Ethernet ports. A third important issue are the default settings for the services which can be activated or deactivated. As an example, the cloud service can be activated in order to establish a connection to the Corvina cloud from Panasonic. With a mouse click on button Application Settings, we enter the Application Settings area. This area is important to configure the services and features we want to use for our Industry 4.0 application. We can choose out of various services and features. Let's go through them step by step. The COM interface page is always needed in cases where other devices must be physically connected to the FBI 4C unit. Such devices can be a PLC or an echo power meter from Panasonic or any third-party device which comes with a RS-232, RS-485 interface, a USB port or an Ethernet port on board and which supports one of the listed communication protocols. The port page is hereby useful for setting port numbers in case we want to make redirects from an Ethernet interface to another interface of the FPI4C. Moreover, a test connection to a connected physical device can be made to make sure that a correct wiring and configuration of the communication parameters is done. The time and date page is needed if a synchronization of time and date is required between the FPI4C and the connected PLC. The necessary settings can be then made here. The data locker page is useful when we would like to collect data from the devices which are physically connected to the FPI4C. Such data can be temperature or energy data values or any other data. The FPI4C unit can be used as an FTP client to send data to an FTP server. The according settings are made on this page. To send data by email, this page within the FPI4C is needed for the settings to be done. The MQTT configuration page is important when we want to exchange data between the FPI4C, which acts here as an MQTT client, and an MQTT server, which is also called broker. MQTT is an open network protocol for machine-to-machine -machine communication and is mainly used for IoT solutions. Clouds like Amazon Web Service, Google Cloud or Azure Microsoft are supporting MQTT. The FPI4C unit can also be used as an HTTP or HTTPS client 
to send data to a cloud server. The necessary settings are done on this page. By using the SQL client page, it is possible to do the settings for connecting to various databases like Microsoft SQL, MySQL and so on. The script page is useful in order to write user scripts, for example to automatically send files to a specified destination via FTP or to get system information and so on. In order to use HTTPS requests to read or write data from and to devices, the REST API needs to be configured on this page. To configure the communication between a PLC and an FBI 4C unit via IEC 6870 standard, this page is needed for the necessary configuration. To make a backup and restore of all the application settings we made, this page is to be used. Finally, a firmware update for the FBI 4C unit can be done by this page. Are you interested more in detail about these features? The next videos in this training course will show you a detailed example for each feature or service. Feel free to check out these videos on our Panasonic Academy website. Panasonic Industry